back to uh, today's Daily Dose. I'm Eli. And I'm Lacey. And we will be walking through some uh, rainbow-themed experiments today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. All right, so we have two experiments today. Our first one we call the walking rainbow. And again, they're just materials that you can gather around your house. We just have seven smaller cups where we'll add water. And then we have food coloring and paper towels. Um, the food coloring, we have red, yellow, and blue. And then the paper towels, we cut into smaller strips. So when you add them in the cups, the water in the process will move along a little bit quicker for your kiddos. We do also have a secondary activity today um, as this first one's gonna take some time for it to actually go through the entire process. So we have another activity which we will show you guys. It's more for fun, not so much for the science aspect, but it can be something for the kids to do while they're waiting for the other activity to finish what it's supposed to do. Yes. And that we just have Skittles, um, a white styrofoam plate to spread out our Skittles and lukewarm water for that one. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, move along and show you guys how to set everything up. Perfect. So as you mentioned, the setup for this one is actually pretty easy. Uh, you're gonna start off with the seven cups and you're gonna go ahead and start filling some of them, but not all of them. We're just gonna fill the ones at the end. And of course we have them set up kind of like we're in a rainbow. And every time you're gonna skip a cup. So we have the first one and then I'm gonna skip a cup and do the third one and skip again. And I'm just adding three drops of food coloring each time. And so I did red first and then yellow after I skipped a cup. And then we skip a cup again and do three drops of blue. And then we actually end with the red again for the color mixing of the blue and red coloring. Now you're gonna to wanna to fill the cups probably about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. And then once that's all set up and in place, um, it's very simple. You just add in the uh, paper towel strip. So she has some there and we'll go ahead. And you're just gonna step one end into the red, you may have to hold it until the water starts to kind of go through so that way it stays. Yeah. And then you're gonna stick it in the other one. So that way you have one of each color kind of going into the same cup. Yeah. And then, oh, see, so just like that. And then as we give this some time, you'll notice some color changes happening in the cups without the water. So as this is happening, this is gonna take some time. Uh, this deals with osmosis. The water is running along the paper towel and it'll eventually flow into the cups in between. And we'll be able to see what happens and experiment. And your kids will be able to watch and see what happens as well. However, this is gonna take some time. So in the meantime, we are gonna move on to our next activity. So you guys can take a look at that. And uh, that's something that you could do with your kid while they're waiting for this to finish doing what it's doing. Okay. So again, we have different colors of Skittles that we just spread around the outside of the plate and we use just a white styrofoam plate and we have water that we're using and we made sure it was lukewarm so it would kind of help the reaction occur quicker. So we have to make sure you pour it kind of carefully so the Skittles don't go everywhere. You want to make sure you put enough water to cover the bottom of the plate. And then as you will see, this reaction occurs pretty quickly where the warm water reacts with the Skittles and will um, pull out the color from it and you'll just notice the colors start to run together for our other rainbow experiment for St. Patrick's Day. And actually, as we were doing our experiment, we found that we believe our plate might be too large because the colors didn't run all the way to the center. So what we decided to do was your kiddos can get a little hands-on, maybe a little messy. And if you push in the center, you can see as the colors move. And you can kind of ask your kiddos what they think's happening and why the Skittles are turning that white color and why all their color is now gone and in the water. So uh, we've come back after um, we set up our first one. We actually had one set up and running uh, in the background in the meantime. So 
Here we have where all of our colors have begun and where you can see we actually do have water that has traveled from our cups into these uh, empty cups that were you know, originally empty. Um, through the process of osmosis, we can see that we now have our red, we've got our blue and our red mixed together to get our purple, we've got blue, we've got green, yellow, orange, and red. So you can even use this to ask your kids, uh, you know, what do you, th you can beforehand ask them what they think will happen to the colors uh, in between the cups as well. This is a lot of experimentation that they can use. Um, and that's going to be the eventual end product here. Right. And it teaches about the colors of the rainbow as well. So in order, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and a violet color. Thank you for watching our experiment for... Where did Eli go? Something doesn't feel right. Oh, that's better. Welcome back, Eli. Thanks, Lacey. So thank you guys for watching uh, our Sloan Museum and Longway Planetarium's Daily Dose of Science. Uh, be sure to check back in tomorrow for our next Daily Dose. And thank you for watching. Eli? Yes. Something still is really cool, right? I think you're right. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow.